Okay, January 14th. Uh, January 14th, 1942, uh, Franklin Roosevelt signs a proclamation um, forcing all uh, uh, aliens from uh, pre uh, the World War II warring nations um, to, to register with the government. So this would have been Germany and Japan at the time. So all the German and Japanese uh, immigrants, not immigrants, not American citizens yet, but people that had immigrated here to the United States that were all forced to sign um, sign up with the government so they could be located. Um, the government knew where they were at at all times. This would ultimately lead um, in, in a month to the forced internment of the Japanese on the West Coast. So uh, um, never touched the Germans, but there was a lot of concern on the West Coast uh, about the Japanese. Um, eventually about 110,000 Japanese were forced into internment camps. Uh, and it, it only affected um, Washington, Oregon, and, and California. So before that happened, um, a lot of them had moved out of those areas because uh, if they were in other, other states, they weren't forced into these internment camps. It was just in those areas. So um, so this happened, and then uh, eventually, by 1980, uh, Jimmy Carter, um, under pressure, opened up an investigation to see whether or not what FDR did was uh, legal or uh, even uh, correct. And um, the commission pretty well found that the vast majority of the Japanese were loyal, loyal, Amer uh, loyal to the country. Uh, Ninety percent of them um, were loyal. And then eventually, in 1988, uh, Ronald Reagan signed the Civil Liberties Act of 1988, which apologized to the Japanese for the internments, and then offered reparations. And uh, they were paid about forty-two thousand um, dollars in today's dollars. This was to the surviving um, eighty-two thousand uh, uh, internees. So that's right for you today. In uh, 1942, FDR signs the proclamation ordering um, all aliens from Germany and uh, Japan to register with the government. I will see you tomorrow.